So here's an example of using Prezi to design and communicate a conceptual big picture. And hopefully this is a big picture that you're familiar with because I've been using it in, in various forms since the beginning of this class. So conceptually in this class, I'm trying to help you learn strategies that uh, can help you improve teaching through the use of technology. And the way that I see it as an educator and as an instructional technologist is that there are three really important areas where um, technology can really have a profound impact on an educator's practice. And these three areas, which hopefully you're familiar with by now, include community building in the middle, um, management and instruction. And so if you'll just indulge me for a moment, I want to sort of show you how Prezi can be used to communicate this big picture in more detail when you go about studying a more specific aspect of, of technology in teaching. So I'm going to click on the instruction um, portion of the area where technology might be used to improve teaching. And I can talk to you about how, um, unlike community building and management, instruction, the, the strategies for instruction are very, very, um, very varied and very broad and a much bigger area than the other two from a practice perspective. But then I can say to you that there are specific strategies in related to instruction that you can use um, where technology will have an, a, a big impact on. And I can, I can click in the picture and zoom in and talk about specific strategies that constitute um, effective instruction, like I've done previously in this course. And if I was gonna talk about the value or the role that technology might play in, in defining meaningful learning contexts, then I can zoom into this aspect of the graphic big picture by clicking on it and here we see a, a, a graphic that communicates how, um, well, different types of contexts that can provide meaning and purpose to learning experiences that teachers might develop. And I can go in detail about each of these different types of contexts related to creation or problem solving or real or simulations. And you'll notice though, that if I wanted to sort of position or couch this, um, this conversation that I'm having to the bigger picture, I can zoom out of the context and talk about how context is one element, one very important element amidst all the other elements that contribute to effective instruction. And I can zoom out even further in our big picture oops, let me zoom out this way, there we go, and talk about how instruction is one of the three primary categories of ways in which you might use technology to improve your instructional practice as an, as an educator. So here, again, I think the value of Prezi in this case is the ability to focus attention on one specific aspect of a very, very big con concept map, like, like what this represents, and zoom in in more detail when I want to sp specifically hone in on something that relates to a, a specific instructional event or a specific act of instruction um, that you might, um, you know, that you might benefit from. And just as an aside, I will say, and I'm going to circle this here, um, the what I'm talking about here is a graphic or visual big picture that might be useful during the introduction of a new learning experience as well as during the review um, or really at any point in between when you want to connect the learners to a particular um, event or series of events that relate to something that you are trying to help them learn how to do um, you know forever as a result of of your your own design so this is just a quick and uh, and, and quick and dirty look at how Prezi could be used to communicate a visual big picture and the value of it being sort of three-dimensional where you're zooming in and zooming out and, um, and using this, uh, this tool as a means of focusing attention um, on the, the broader kind of 
conceptual landscape of what you're trying to help people learn how to do. So that's it.